Hello students, today I want to welcome you to another lesson for PSC and in today's lesson we want to solve a problem that has to do with higher purchase and this is from the 2019 PSC that students did last year. With no further delay, remember you can subscribe for quick access to all the videos and lessons that will be posted. At this time we want to go into information based on the problem. It says, Mr. Jerry wants to buy a sharp flat screen TV. The store gives him two purchase options shown below. Cash option, he buy the TV cash for $1,500 and get 10% discount. Or he get the TV on higher purchase option, pay down $500 and 20 monthly installments of $80. And A says, how much would Mr. Jerry pay using the cash option? B, how much would Mr. Jerry pay using higher purchase option and see which option is cheaper how much would mr jerry save and we want to go straight into a remember the tv costs one thousand five hundred dollars but if the person buy it cash they get ten percent discount and a says how much would mr jerry pay using the cash option remember the cash option it's ten percent discount and a percent always go over 100 times the price of the TV, which is $1,500 over 1. We cross multiply. We could exhale two zeros from here and two from here. So now that left us with 10 times 15. And when we multiply 10 times 15, we get 100 and fifty dollars but we're not done as yet that's just the discount that the person get but remember the tv costs one thousand five hundred dollars and with a ten percent discount so we're going to minus it because it's discount so you're going to pay one hundred and fifty dollars less so let's minus it minus one fifty and this will give us the cash price of the tv Zero from zero is zero. Zero from five can't borrow from the five. The five becomes four. This becomes ten. Ten minus five is five. Four minus one is three. And one. So it's $1,350. And A is solved. Because the person purchased a TV with the cash price. They got 10% discount. And 10% of $1,500 is $150. So we minus the $150 from the $1,500 and we got $1,350. As we continue, we go with B. B asks, how much would Mr. Jerry pay using the higher purchase option? Based on the higher purchase option here, you're going to do a down payment of $500. So before you get the TV, first thing you have to do it's a pay down $500, so I'm going to place that here. $500 pay down. Why? Because we have to add that later on. Because when I got the TV, I paid on $500. Then it's 20 monthly installments of $80. So you're going to pay $80 for 20 months, almost two years. So you're going to pay $80 for 20 months. So all we need to do is to find how much you're going to pay for that 20 months of $80. So it's 20 times 80. Then we'll add the $500 to it. And that will be the higher purchase price. Zero from zero. Zero times zero is zero. So zero times zero is zero. Zero times two is zero. Eight times zero under the tens place is zero. And eight times two is 16. So let me do the one so you could see it clearly. All right, 16, then I'm going to add 0, 0, 6, 1, and do my dollar sign. So 20 months of $80 for the higher purchase price, it's $1,600. But remember, that's not the original price yet. $1,600, that's just for the 20 months of eighty dollars but when i got a tv i paid on five hundred dollars so i have to add that because i paid down and when i add that five hundred dollars 
this will give me the higher purchase price zero zero six plus five eleven bring down one carry the one one plus one two so the higher purchase price is two thousand one hundred dollars remember the cash price is one thousand three hundred and fifty so i would have saved a good amount of money but people that don't have the money will pay down this amount and you'll pay a monthly payment of eighty dollars and when we add that five hundred dollars to the 80 times 20 which is 1600 we pay in total $2,100 for the higher purchase price and C ask which option is cheaper and by how much so as we can see which one is cheaper it's the cash price because if you buy it cash you would have just paid 1350 when you minus a 10% discount so the cash price is cheaper and then the next part of the question says, how much would Mr. Jerry save? So it's the higher purchase price, which is the bigger amount. The higher purchase, by getting the item on higher purchase, I would pay $2,100, remember? Then the cash price, I would pay $1,350. So I'm going to minus to see how much I save. $1,350. When I minus, this will tell me how much I save. Zero take away zero is zero. Zero take away five can't borrow from the one. The one becomes zero, this becomes ten. Ten minus five is five. Then zero take away three can't borrow from the two. The two becomes one. This becomes ten. Ten minus three is seven. So I would save seven hundred and fifty dollars if I would buy the TV cash compared to the higher purchase price. So again Remember, the cash price will always be cheaper with a discount, but the higher purchase price will be more expensive. They will give you a longer time in order for you to pay for the TV in payments. Thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can subscribe for quick access to all the videos and lessons that will be posted.